Hey, I'm Phil, Melbourne, North Carolina, and today we're going to have something special. We're not having a Philly cheesesteak, we're having a North Carolina cheesesteak. And it's going to be great, it's going to be good eats. I'm going to do things different. I'm going to use the ingredients of a ciabatta roll. I'm going to use some, uh, not going to use ribeye, shaved ribeye. I'm talking to people that could be on a budget. You can go to Walmart and you can get some shaved steak, uh, sirloin, chop it up. It's going to be great. And then also, I use Duke's mayonnaise. I'm going to have a beside of potatoes, and this is going to be great eats. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. All right, what we're going to do is go ahead and start off with our potatoes. All right, I'll have to get them out. They've been sliced up on the mandolin. So I've separated them a little bit, if you can see this. Spread them out a little bit. I have this set on high heat. All right, and we're gonna put our seasoning. I use a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of pepper. Salt. Okay, we're going to let them cook up a little bit, then we're going to move on to our cheese steak salmon. All right, I got my potatoes cooking. I'm getting ready to add some uh, green peppers and onions. And remember, this is a North Carolina cheesesteak sandwich. It's not the Philly cheesesteak, so everybody gets all excited about the peppers and onions. But I like the peppers and onions on it. Uh, I think it'd be great. I've already uh, I had peppers and onions last night, so uh, they're already pre-cooked. So I'm just going to warm them up. And now it's time for uh, the meat. Put a little bit of butter on the griddle. Here we go. All righty. Now I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. Salt. Add a little bit of paprika. A little bit of uh, garlic powder. All right, we're gonna get this cooked up a little bit. It won't take long for this to cook. You can stir the potatoes a little bit. Try to keep the potatoes separated, but sometimes when you cook them, uh, you know, thin slice. They sort of bind together a little bit, so you just have to separate a little bit on the grill. Okay, I've, I've got my roll, and I've got my cheese ready, provolone cheese ready, and uh, stir this up a little bit. We're going to get this uh, about medium, the meat about medium, then we're going to stir it together. Hey, right, some be some good eats. All right, so... Uh, the meat's almost ready. We're going to combine it. The peppers and onions, mix them together. Oh, don't they look great? Alright, stir up my potatoes a little bit more. They're looking awesome. Let them spread out a little bit, let them cook. Okay, I got my ciabatta. I don't have the regular uh, roll. This is a North Carolina cheesesteak sandwich on ciabatta. So what I do is going to put some mayonnaise. Look at here, put some mayonnaise on it. Put it on the griddle. All right. 
Deke's mayonnaise. On the way to go. So let them toast up just a just a minute. I believe this is almost ready. Got some bread over here. Alright. It's gonna be a good sandwich right here. Good sandwich. Alright, now we're gonna put our cheese. This is right. You see this? We'll put our cheese. Alright, we're going to cover it up for like uh, 30 seconds. Let the cheese melt. And we're almost on our way. And I believe the potatoes are done. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the plate. Uh, the potatoes look great. I need to add a little bit more salt to them. A little bit more pepper. Just all set. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah! Look at here. Look at here. I don't know if you can see this good or not. I don't have my videographer with me. But the cheese steak is awesome. As the cheese is melted, we're gonna take our bread, put it right on top of it, like this. Oh yeah! It's gonna be great. Probably been enough for two sandwiches. <coughs> I never can tell how much to cook. Right. Oh yeah, great. Got a little bit of extra, we'll put it on a plate. North Carolina cheese steak sandwich with a side of potatoes.